everybody, Genesis 7 here bringing you another Sega Heroes video and I nearly lost my voice that time, maybe I should just stop the Sega altogether. No, he's going to carry on regardless of the voice. But today I'm bringing you a bit of a different video. As you can see, I'm currently on the Sega Heroes Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, please join it, link below. What we're going to do, as you probably can tell by the title, it's called, um, I'm just going to call it a simple title of Idea Box. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the Idea Box of the Sega Heroes community. We're going to have a look at the ideas that they have and uh, see if these are viable ideas and we can talk about them in the comment section below and if you haven't joined the discord and you have ideas then it urges you guys to go over to the discord um, kind of give us some ideas and we can dissect them in this nice little video series I'm going to have so this is Sega Heroes Idea Box and we're going to just start from the bottom and probably go through these for about 10 minutes or so to see what we have so we're going to start off here we a nice simple one here, it says Sega Heroes, set the BGM to start immediately when entering a stage. Does, does the background music not start straight away? I don't think that's a big issue. Um, I'm, it's something I've not noticed, I probably notice it all the time now if I uh, play the game, but... Okay, that's the, 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 the vote that says, speaks for itself, there's a couple of people who are like, yeah you're right, the, the BGM needs to start immediately. But uh, the way I look at it, I've not noticed it, but if I start to notice it now, I'm blaming you, Tails. I'm blaming you. So here we go. S increase survival achievements reward by 200%. Rounded down. I think anyone would be down with any kind of uh, achievements to be increased. Survival achievements, anyway. Is that... I might have to load up the game to have a look at this. Uh, because I don't know, I'm assuming that they're on about the, not the, there's nothing for survival daily, is it? it's just the um, play the game twice, isn't it? So if we go into the quests and achievements when it comes to survival runs, eh, I mean, I, I need to complete five more survival runs and I get two sonic shards and 30, uh, 30 gems. So I, I gotta be honest. Actually, I'm gonna give that a tick. I agree. Maybe I think they should be increased. I definitely think they should be. So here is another one. This is uh, we're going backwards. Uh, the next time I make this video, I'm just gonna go um, from either where we left off, or if there's enough ideas from where we started, then I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Probably sound very confusing, but just tune in next time, and you'll see what I mean. So. Instead of deleting Sonic's... Oh, I think this has something to do with the one above. So we'll read the one above. Um, Sonic's extra turn is too strong because it effectively gives his entire team, and not just him, an extra turn. A good alternative to this ability would be to give him extra high dodge potential instead of... In, instead. Similar to Tom's always grooving. Now, I don't really have a problem with um, Sonic's extra turn. Unless I'm facing him in arena, I think that's probably where this is coming from, and I'm sure you guys would agree. Sometimes you can get absolutely obliter obliterated just from that extra turn. So sometimes it can be overpowered, but because it's Sonic, I don't see it'll be it being changed completely. I think maybe um, it would be nice to kind of just attack one person instead of the entire team, maybe, and not create a star tile. But underneath we have in instead of deleting Sonic's extra turn, um, nerf its max skill to only generate standard blue star. I think that's a fair shout. Um, maybe spawn in a super blue star once the rally level is 3. And this will effectively reduce the likelihood of extra turns, especially in the arena. Numi, you got that down to a T. I think that's definitely what should happen to Sonic because it still has the power there. But uh, if the, the, the CPU or if you are playing as Sonic uh, can get that rally 3, then you have deserved that chance of having that more damage, I think. I think that's definitely a shout. So I'm going to. Uh, a lot of people are disagreeing with this, actually. Maybe a lot of people use Sonic, that's why. But I, I, I think probably, definitely like having a rally requirement. Maybe even uh, rally level two, so it's more obtainable in a, an arena fight. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like those, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that because uh, I, I do get hammered by Sonic in arena quite often. Maybe that's just a personal vendetta I have. 
So we have another idea here, have special events in game related to events happening in the real world like Olympics event in 2020 would be splendid. If there was a Super Bowl event that would be awesome, other events could, occur, recur, uh, could, could be related to Champions League final, um, yada yada yada, major sports and festival celebration events. I agree to this to a certain extent um, because we see a lot of deals in the shop like a summer deal or a... Um, I'm sure we're going to see some Black Friday deals whenever that comes around. There's going to be Christmas deals. There's probably going to be a, uh, a bonfire night deal. There might be a Hall there's definitely going to be a Halloween deal. It'd be nice to see kind of events support that. Maybe because these deals have gems, maybe have a, an event to support that event. So say if there's a Halloween deal, have a Halloween event that gives you some gems, some resources, uh, to at least be able to pull towards um, one chest of that deal um, and have a hard mode of that same event to earn more gems and that will suit both the free to play players and the pay, pay to play players and be careful in my word in here because I don't like using certain terms so I do agree to that but I think I don't think it should be like events for everything um, but I definitely would like to see events and having a shop deal event to support that to where if you played the event you can use what you've earned from that to have a possibility of getting that reduced chance or that increased rate so uh, I definitely agree with that one um, this one doesn't look like it's gone uh, gone through but it says disable Sonic's extra turns <laughs> um, I don't think it should be disabled I, th I think it shouldn't be so accessible so we have <laughs> we have one about the discord here uh, make emotes for I'm, I'm the emo guy as well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reply to this. I'm gonna reply to this like as and when, which is right now. So make emotes for enemies in game that don't have emotes yet. Henninger, in Ninja, Bad Brother, Banana Thief, etc. Emotes for Regents, Skill Stones. There is actually a Skill Stone uh, emoji in there. I might just uh, have to react uh, with that um, right now. So uh, there you go. The Skill Stone one is there. Um, is it the skill stone? Or is it, no, it's the spirit stone, but still, it's there. Um, normal survival and arena shop emotes, coin and gem emotes. Uh, if you can make emotes for tiles, then you can make them with this. This is, that is true, it's very true. I'm going to uh, click the X there. The reason being that there isn't those emotes here is because we're going to get more characters and they need the spaces and I don't want to bring in too many emotes to the Discord server for them to go. So I have bought some generic ones like the tiles, which people won't miss, but it's there for fun. Um, we've got quite a lot of slots left, but as time goes on, they're going to be filled with characters and maybe some enemies. I can agree with the enemies, but all the regents and all the icons and all the uh, assets for coins and stuff especially gems I can see that being spammed completely not gonna have it so I've answered your question personally um, so there you go uh, we have a big one here so add an endless mode where you can play as the villains i.e. Eggman, Bad Brother, AI Visions, of Heroes, Metal Sonic, UTZ this mode will be unlocked at level 35 and put some thought into this in this mode your objective is to try and stop the waves of heroes this is pretty much like survival um, the way I'm getting but it's all in one battle which I kind of wish that survival was. Maybe if they were to bring a survival hard mode or a survival extreme um, where you just have the, the uh, wave and you can only take the one team of heroes, you have the one chance, and you can't back out of it. Try and get as far as you can and maybe introduce these rewards here. I won't go into too much detail. I agree with it halfway. I don't think we should introduce villains because they're going to have to be programmed to be programmed uh, to be used by us. Because obviously some hero characters that we have and the AI hero characters have different um, abilities in the way they work. So programming, it, it would see a, a long process for that to come. But I do agree to a, a new survival mode, an endless wave. Um, where you can take the one team in, get that one chance with that one team, see how far you can get and then get rewards respectable of the wave that you're at. So that is my view on that. I'm probably just going to ignore that one when it comes to that. So we have another one here. I'm hoping that you guys can see this because um, I'm capt capturing it straight off the off the desktop. So uh, insert a fun witty mode where you play as uh, villains again. I, I don't think that should be done. I don't think that should be a priority right now personally. Um, change the distribution of events, uh, adventure wisdom event prizes. 
Um, I think these have been boosted. I do think that adventure, in, in a nutshell, I think adventure, any all the adventure events should be uh, kind of uh, boosted a little bit because, um, especially the tier two regions, because a lot of people ain't going to get them unless they purchase them from the shop. So I can agree with that. Uh, please considering adding at least one track from each franchise represented in the game. This will be a nice addition for many fans and help players discover more about the Sega franchise. This is a really good way of putting it to be fair and I completely agree with it and it looks like the above idea is the same um, adding a more classic Sega tunes and this is something I want to see and I'm sure we'll get it but I think just Sega and music um, is just the, the I, I believe um, that the amount of effort and kind of like authorization you need to get for music um, can be very daunting and a very problematic process hence why we've only seen a few tracks but I am a, a big supporter of that I'm gonna take both of those because I think we need more music I think and we need to have that Sega flair um, we definitely want my voice with the Sega at the beginning when you load out the game that would be awesome uh, not my the, the, the OG Sega noise would be very nice to hear um, but I do agree with music Again, people will be like, well, there's games like Final Fantasy mobile games that has all the music. you got to think about it. Final Fantasy is just a franchise. Sega is a company that have had um, other studios work and they've published for and all these bits and bobs and anomalies in there. Could make a whole video about it. But that's that in a nutshell. I'm sure we'll see music in the future, but not as soon as you'd like to see. And everything I say, take with a grain of salt, doesn't mean anything's factual what I say, I'm just giving, this is my opinion, this is what something I want to do more of, is give my opinion on uh, the game a little bit more, and you will be seeing more videos on that. But we'll go into the next idea, where it's, uh, I think this is similar, and to let more players win tier 2 regions, I, I do think that sh um, should definitely come into effect. Uh, remove the silly guild boss restriction, oh this is a good thing that's come up in this video, because I get a chance to talk about it. Um, I agree with that. I don't think that this should be a limit. Maybe they should be a, the maybe increase the difficulty of the boss and have everyone compete, but they can only compete a certain number of times. So on a class one event, you can all go in at least three times or four times or five times. We'll say five times. Class two, you can only go in three times. Um, per player and then as it gets harder you, you, you really need to kind of put your heads together um, and using your keys to effect to get it done that's the way I think I don't think there should be a player limit because it kind of it's going to cause controversy controversy yeah, controversy in your guilds um, when you put up a boss and not everyone can make it say if um, my guild put up a boss but I'm busy all day um, and I see oh man you know, oh, I really wish I was part of that, but I can't. I, oh, I can't. I can't get in. I can't get in. This. I, I really want to contribute, but I can't. Guys, I want to, but I can't. It won't let me. I don't think that's the way to go. I think probably, like I said, um, have players enter a certain amount of times and maybe increase the rune cost each time you go in. If you want to work it that way, if you want to kind of. Um, not have everyone go in head first with it. I think that's a good alternative and I'm sure a lot of people will agree with. Um, we're going to go through just a couple more ideas and we'll wrap up in the video of Idea Box. That's such a generic title. I'm sure you guys will come up with something better, but uh, we'll roll with it. So let's see, item trading mechanic. I think this should definitely be something in the guild, um, but only I think for the time being. Uh, just cap it off at like tier one regions, maybe. Like, oh, I need these. Can you donate these to me? Or a donation system, but have it at a limit per day or per week, so you can't abuse the mechanic. I think they're going to say something a bit different. Um, and the results could be like ten tonic shards. But I don't think shards should be uh, traded. But I do agree with regions. If it's just regions, I'm down with that because I could put a request on my guild saying I need twenty metal charm twos. And someone will be like, you know what, I don't really need these Metal Charm 2s, you can have them. Um, oh, but I can only cap it off at 10. I'll give you 10 this week, give you 10 next week. Should be all sorted and you can upgrade your skill. Something along those lines where it's not like uh, really 
easy to obtain stuff. You need to kind of put a cap on it to a, a certain extent, but not take 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 the mic, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so I agree with that to a certain extent. I just don't agree with gold and uh, maybe runes. I can agree with that. Spirit stones, no, because you can get them plenty from events uh, and shards. I don't know. I think it's too confusing. I think you should just keep it basic with the regents, and you'll be all good. Um, at a 14 day, uh, day hero pass, uh, hero pass. Uh, I've got no comment for at the moment. I will probably make a video on it in the next coming days, maybe, uh, or we'll talk about it on the live stream later this week. We'll see. Um, Discord add region emotes if able. Don't have any good ideas right now. I'm not adding any region. I'm not adding any region emotes. Okay. You got you got your skill stone. That's all you're getting so far. Uh, I need to rework some of the enemies because some people are not happy that I've cropped them like a square. So I'll uh, definitely work back into them and I'll sort that out. But here we go. Allow commons and rares to be updated uh, through a power level system, through a gear system. I think we'll see a gear system soon. Please don't quote me on that. But I'm sure we'll see someone soon. There's been the mysterious six boxes surrounding each character for a while now. Um, and it has been stated that the earlier characters um, for Sega Heroes, so all the ones before uh, soft launch, uh, before global launch, the rarities were never took into consideration. Um, that's why it can seem that some people don't match their rarity. If they can rework that, great. Um, but adding this to a uh, uh, assist a gear system so if I could go in that, that could be cool imagine going into a battle with like a, a legendary cream it's like what legendary cream if you have like decided to invest in cream I think that's great that you'd be able to show it off so for example I like to use beat 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 is only a rare so if I was to invest the gear, grind for a couple of weeks get the gear to upgrade into an epic I can show off that I've got an epic beat and maybe get into a legendary beat where no one else has a legend. I think that would be cool. Um, but I think that could take a lot of work uh, in programming to get there. But I, I, I agree with that one. Let's just do three more and see what happens. Remove hero passes. We won't talk about that too much in this video. Um, revert Rouge's nurse. Uh, I don't use Rouge no more, so I could live without it. But I do agree. I do miss that screw, uh, screw kick damage. Um, I think the charm kiss is fine, but screw kick, you didn't have to tamper with that. Uh, I'm just glad that it didn't tamper with the mana increase, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look. With a player limit on guild bosses, making a sudden pulled effort. So this is similar to what I was talking about. Uh, but I, I do like this idea of kind of uh, using your, your, your runes or in keys as a kind of alternative than having it a cap. I, I, I don't think a guild event. It's almost like saying that the next guild event only 10 of you can enter, sorry. I, 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 don't, I don't want it to go that way personally. So I, I, I do agree with all this kind of um, panic of the restriction to bosses. Uh, by the time this video goes up that might have changed, it might have stayed the same. So I'm recording this on a Sunday, It's probably I think it's going up on a Wednesday or a Thursday. So, please bear that in mind before you type away in that comment section below saying that they've changed it or they've made it worse. Um, need more stages than our current stages? Completely agree. Um, I think that nighttime stage that we got from, I can't remember what the event was, it was only a couple of, a couple of days ago. I think that map should stay. Um, some more alternative, even if it's some more alternatives of the current maps that we have. Uh, but bringing in some kind of like these ones, like a desolate desert area from Golden Axe, chemical plant, like just a Sonic zone would be cool um, since Sonic is the poster boy and nice to have him a stage to, to I like how they didn't put Green Hill Zone because uh, Green Hill Zone gets used way too often so I'm down chemical plant and let's just find one more um, add Silveria Bless to the survival shop I can't I, I want that to happen so much when she because a, a legendary events probably gonna drop pretty soon uh, because now all the shards for the rest of the team are accessible through uh, farming uh, and looting various stages uh, I've got a feeling that she might be added to the arena shop though but the survival shops lacking some legendaries uh, I've got some I've got quite a hefty amount of uh, mega 
survival tokens saved up in hopes that she appears. So let's hope that she does. So if you've been listening to this idea box discussion as we've been going through, please comment in the comment section below all your opinions. If you haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord and then maybe your idea may be get read out. Uh, read out. It may you know, not get read out. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know where I'm going. Help me out. It will be read out in the next episode. Trying it on doing these every week. Um, it's just nice. I want to kind of have more kind of opinionated and uh, discussion type videos than the more of my efforted scripted videos and the character overviews. So it's nice to kind of interact with the community. I I am on the Discord. Um, and I am playing the game very often, so I just kind of want to interact with the community a little bit more and see what the community are really feeling and try and see if we can do something about that. So thank you for tuning in. It's been a longer video. I think it's been about 20 minutes now. I did say 10 minutes, but 20 minutes is more than enough idea discussion in the video. So thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.